Father and son duo Jim and Jamie Dietenhofer have a long history of working together. My first job was working for him. Yep. Yeah. Stripping x-ray films. And That's right. Picking up from hospitals. Silver and gold. Yeah. I was slave labor, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Paid him in food. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie was obviously inspired by his dad's sense of enterprise. Over the years, he worked hard and started his own successful business, but always with an eye on a dream to create craft beer. I think the passion started well, in high school. You know, they were drinking beer and stuff, and they talked maybe, about it. Right, they maybe had a beer. Yeah, one or two. But then he went to college, and he, he blew up a, uh, a beer kit in his dorm and destroyed his dorm room. So right then, we knew he was not going to be the brewer. So <laughs> yeah. but at that yeah, point... Yeah, that, that, was, that was messy. That was messy, that was messy. yeah. <laughs> Plans for starting Figueroa Mountain Brewery were put on hold until Jim felt Jamie had a deeper bench of business experience under his belt. Interestingly, it was during the economic downturn of 2007 that the two decided to jump with both feet into craft beer. They were able to self-finance when business loans were scarce and competition was relatively limited. Today, Figueroa Mountain produces 25,000 barrels of highly acclaimed brews with six breweries and tap rooms from Arroyo Grande to Westlake Village. The popularity of their craft beers may have something to do with their collaborative creative approach. We call it the round table that all these brewers sit at. Rather than have one that dictates this is what we're doing, they all have input so they all buy into the process. Mm -hmm. And all the talents seem to come out and complement each other. So that's yeah. why we're so Different lucky. skill sets, yeah. Jim and Jamie engage regularly with customers which has lent well to a unique market research approach. The uh, six locations that we have gives us a testing for all the different beers. Mm -hmm. We always have new beers coming out and we get forced, if we stop brewing that beer and there becomes a mutiny, we know, well, maybe we better start bottling that <laughs> yeah, one. The, the, yeah, we, the we better bring that one the back. Lot. Yeah. What's on tap for future brews? We have our first kettle sour coming out. So now sours are dangerous, so we don't want to have sours going everywhere. But a kettle sour is something that you um, moderately uh, funk a little bit and uh, cook it off in the, in the boil. So we're able to get something a little bit more on the that playful side, which I think our patrons want. But it's also very dangerous to do uh, sours in any type of our stuff. So we've always stayed away from that and coming out with some new lagers. A lot of people stay away from lagers. It's just you know hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. But uh, we love the traditional German lagers, so we have a kind of a set of those coming out. Um, that we're excited about. And of course our Belgian IPA is just about to come out. With eight years of success under their belt, Figueroa Mountain is still keeping it local by investing back into their mothership, Buellton Brewery, with a new kitchen, expanded beer garden, and soundstage. That's the same feeling that we'd like to have is we're here, this is our central hub, and people from the outside have to, to beg or steal or get a semi and steal it or whatever to get it out. I like, I like this, this, yeah. this is going, this is good, <laughs> yeah. it's a good movie. With their distribution, they understand part of the appeal is geo-limited availability. And that's why the names, Davy Brown and Lizard's Mouth, we want people to come here and you know ask about that and um, you know I think that's important to us because once you lose home I think that's gonna, that's gonna change uh, our business plan and it doesn't mean we don't want to sell our beer outside and have people experience it but um, world domination will have to wait. Yeah. At the end of the day, Jim and Jamie recognize success isn't just about profit margins. It's more than passion. Jim and Jamie live, breathe, and bleed Figueroa Mountain. But until you find something that you're like happy to wake up and go do, you're like, oh my God, this is what I've been missing. And you kind of look back on the 12 years like, what did I just lose 12 years of my life? But now <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's great. It's a great, it's not easy, but it's, it's great. It's rewarding. Yeah, for sure especially working with this nutball. Yeah, pretty good. Keeps him on his toes. Right. <laughs>